What about delivery systems? Let's go here. I'm going to change industries. Let's go to banking. When you were a little boy or a little girl and you went to the bank with your mother or your father, where was the bank? Was it near your house? No, it was down, downtown, the main bank, remember? That was pretty basic. Today, where do you expect to find the bank? Right, where you live, where you work, where you travel, where you eat, where you go for recreation. It's called branch banking. But sometimes those branches are closed. So what did they give us? AT. M machines. Ah, desire. Hey, who was the first bank to put out an ATM machine? Ask your partner. Go. Who was the first bank? <clears throat> who was it? Are you sure? You know what my answer is? Who cares? <laughs> I mean, who cares who came first? Because now they all got it. So now you're seeing more advancements in delivery systems, telephone banking, right? Internet banking, wireless banking. I was in Seattle, Washington last year, and I saw this in terms of delivery system for banking. It was 11.30 in the morning. I was visiting a friend in an office building near the downtown area. I said to her, Michelle, let's go to lunch. She said, well, that's great, but..." I need to make a deposit for my company at the bank, and I also need to use my ATM card and get some cash. I said, no problem. Let's just go to a restaurant near one of the branches of your bank. You can do them both at the same time. She said to me, that's not how we do our banking anymore. I said, what do you mean? She said, I guess you've never seen this before. Watch. She went over to her telephone, and she hit a speed dial button, and it went, Boop, 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 boop. And then I heard, which means that she had reached a fax machine or a computer modem. As soon as she heard the, she hit a button on her keypad, boop, boop, and then she hung up. Ah, so I walked over to her fax machine, which was right between two computer printers, and I waited. She said, what are you doing? I said, I'm waiting for the money. <laughs> she said, no. And I said, well, then what's going on? She said, hold on. That moment, the phone rang. She picked up the phone, looked at me, and said, ah, it's good news, and hung up the phone. Now, hey, all morning long, Michelle had been a paragon of good service mindset on the phone. Good morning. This is Michelle. How may I help you? Thank you for calling. Have a nice day. If there's anything else you need, feel free to call me back. On this call, she didn't say hello. She didn't say goodbye. She didn't say thank you. It's like there was nobody there. But she's telling me it's good news. I said, what is going on? She said, come on, I'll show you. We went down the elevator. We walked into the parking lot. As we stepped into the parking lot, an armored car drove into the parking lot of her office building with an ATM machine built into the side of the armored car. She waved at the driver and made her bank deposit. Pulled out her ATM card, stuck it in, took it, took it, took it, boom, out came the money. Waved at the driver. He drove away. She looked at me and said, come on, let's have lunch. I'm going, <laughs> And she explained. Commerce Bank in Seattle, Washington is a business-to-business -business bank. They have five armored cars. Those armored cars patrol around Seattle waiting for a call. When she hit that speed dial number, boop, 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 it called the bank's computer. The computer had inbound caller ID, so it knew who was calling. It gave her the tone, and she went, boop, boop. That was a code. The code meant immediate pickup. The computer looked up at the global positioning system of satellites, which looked back down on Seattle and knew where the five armored cars were. There was one near her office with no previous pickup in the queue. So the computer sent a signal to the LCD panel in front of the driver, giving him a map, showing him where he was and where she was, because it knew where he was and it knew where she was too. Then the computer called her back. And a recorded voice said, thank you for calling Commerce Bank. 
the mobile service will be there to attend to you in approximately two minutes. Have a nice day. Which is why when she picked up the phone, she said, it's good news, but there was nobody there. I said, Michelle, this is unbelievable. And she said to me, you know, when the service first came out, we all thought it was pretty surprising. On a day like today, I get what I hope for, which is that they can come quickly. Some days it takes as long as 15 or 20 minutes, and on a busy day it takes as long as an hour. Come on, let's have lunch. See, what to me was unbelievable to her on that day had already slipped down to... See, what to me was unbelievable to her on that day had already slipped down to desire. And the same thing is true about every single innovation in delivery. Whether you use the internet or the telephone or a fax back system, whether it's a service counter 24 hours, I don't care what it is, it's going to start out as a wow and it's rapidly going to become expected. It's the nature of the beast. But something different happens when you hit unbelievable in the service mindset category.